to cut all ties with my family. Not because I didn't love them, but because the thought of their lame lives was bringing me down spiritually. You know what I mean? You would really not believe how difficult it is being a celebrity sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you had it real tough. I think the problem is sometimes they love me too much. My publicist told me if you put all my fans together, they'd fill the country of Africa, wherever that is. I had this obsessed fan last year who kept sending me photos of his junk. Then when I didn't reply, he sent me his actual junk in a box, all dried up. It looked like a spring roll. I mean, seriously, how insane is that? And did you know my gynecologist's autobiography was the top selling fiction and nonfiction book of 2010? Totally insane, right? Right, totally. Sucks. They're How always comparing me to Poppy morning. Mitchell when she's such a diva. I'm way more into making a difference than she is. If I wasn't in entertainment, I'd totally be a doctor or a lawyer. It's so important to me to stay grounded and connect with real people, you know? That's the only way you truly grow as an artist. Literally, nobody tests higher than me on relatability. I mean, you can tell I'm so girl next door, right? Are you listening to me? Yeah, 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 every word. In China, I always travel with lookalikes. I find the language so scary. All those letters look like tattoos. Oh, my people just explained taxes to me? Crazy. I thought they got rid of those in medieval times. Ooh, my palms are so sweaty. Oh, that injection must be wearing off. Oh, did I tell you about my new underwear line? Lacy, isn't that totally genius? Look, can we say this chat for another time? I'm getting a headache right now. Sure, totally, whatever. For saving me from those awful paths. You're such a sweetie. Let's not pretend this is something it's not. 